hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide i hope you're doing well wherever you are again back with another message for you sending you the purest of love and light god is for us who can be against us we're blessed we're highly favored we're anchored we're safe and we're protected in divine love and i shuffled and the card that came up here, it says wealthy, material, and spiritual. So, and it says free. A lot of you, your passion is going to come back. You're going to have a lot more creativity because you're fearless. A lot of you know you're not in that place of lack or scared or scarcity mindset. Even if the enemy... Our enemies were working towards destroying whatever it is that you're creating, you're working on. But because of your faithfulness, God is getting ready to bless you, not only materialistically, but spiritually, because you grew from that situation. You're like that rose that grew from, from the concrete. See, God is right. Obedience is better than sacrifice. For a lot of you, it's going, it's keep going in spite of not allowing the situations or the circumstances around you to determine how you behave, how you react. Even when the going gets tough and the tough get going, you still went, you did it anyway. And God is getting ready to reward your faithfulness. He's getting ready to reward your faithfulness. And I'm telling you, a lot of people are about to be shocked because look, seven of coins reaping the fruits of your labor. I can't make it up. I, I shuffled and I stopped where divine says to stop and I just turn it over. Seven of coins, whatever it is that you're working on, Whatever it is your master in your craft, you nurtured it, you watered it, you were consistent in spite of, despite of. And this is why God is blessing you. He's blessing you. You will reap the fruits of your labor. Yes, the table will be prepared in front of your enemies and they will have to watch you eat. Because a lot of them, they did too much. And because of what you're coming into, again, you're spiritually wealthy. So a lot of you, this could have been, while you were going through this, you were building your spiritual muscle. So physically, spiritually, emotionally, all the alleys, you were walking down and you became stronger because of it. Because you were determined, you were passionate about whatever it is that you were doing. And this is why God is blessing you so much. For some of you, he's getting ready to bless you. For some of you, you're already there and this is just confirmation. God rewards persistence. You don't quit and then you expect to reap rewards. If you don't play, you can't win. And a lot of you, it's a choice. It's a decision. That's what it means to be chosen. Because a lot of people are called, but it's the ones who decide, okay, I'm going to go all the way in. And with this material and spiritual wealth, you will be able to be free in the sense where you can take care of yourself. You can preach teach the gospel you don't have to even rely on other people to give you donations or contributions even if it's almost as if if people were to give you something or money you could donate it to your favorite charity or organization and i mean this message is for people who have been You've been toiling, working hard for a long time because with the seven of coins on other decks, it's like you will see like a tree and it has fruits on it. But think about it. You buy a, a plant at the store. 
you take it home. You have to nurture it, water it. And little by little, you see it grow up. And then little buds and you nurture it. You go out there, you talk to it. You pray over it. You bless it. You nurture it. And it's like while you were doing that, you have bugs. You have all these little agents and, and things trying to eat trying to to devour whatever you're working on but and you had to protect it whatever it means you have to go to the store ask them hey how do you treat this how do you take care of that what do i use to spray what fertilizer do i use maybe there were times when you thought this thing doesn't look prosperous because of all the challenges you had to protect it from winter Maybe too much sun. You need It needs more sun. That is just how you had to navigate life. And like I said, while you're doing that, you had to be fighting off the elements that are coming to destroy it as well. And six of ones. This is victory. Like I said, if you don't play, you cannot win. And on other decks, you'll see the guy coming in on a horse is hands up in the air you have people cheering but again you're gonna have people who are onlookers who are not happy for you at the same time too but then who cares this is your time this is your time it takes a lot of practice it takes you pushing beyond it's a lot of training mentally in order to to run to keep the faith to not break underneath the pressure of life because in order to win anything if, if this is a track and field there are a lot of competitors so you're running but at the same time without giving attention to those who are competing you have to be forging ahead keeping your eyes on the prize and this is why God is blessing you. This is why he's blessing you. Again, you know, queen of blades, queen of swords here. You've been passionate about your purpose, your cause. For some of you, you could have had setbacks in your life. Even in your health, you were challenged too for some of you. And you fought, you decide, you know what? I'm going to get better. I am going to get stronger. I am going to push towards this. And a lot of you, you learn the truth as to what's been going on around you. And as a result, you're more intelligent. You are now from, it's not just the heart space, but it's like head over heart in making your decisions. You're looking at things more seriously. You're picking things apart. This is the come correct or don't come at all card because you have gone through a lot where people try to play games, lies, manipulate you, been sneaky and a lot of trickster spirit. And now it's like you have a cause that you're passionate about. You have a purpose that you're passionate about and it's not to be played with. And so sometimes while we're going through the challenges and the ups and downs, this was God's way of seeing, are you ready for what, what is to come next? Are you ready for what is to come next? Because here we have the eight of swords. This is a lot. This is a lot that you are undergoing here. I mean, even look in this picture on this deck, it's overwhelming. The baby's crying. The dog is howling. And this woman, she feels as if she's mentally trapped and stuck. It's like frustration. This is what I'm talking about. When, you, when you're building something, working on something, and you're like, how long? What more do I need to do? It's like you feel like you're trapped mentally. And for a lot of you, it took going within with the hermit card, introspect, to hear what God has to say, what the word has to say about your situation that you're in. 
It's like you move from the naysayers and you went to do your own search, whether this is your own soul searching or just went to do more study. Sometimes we need to get in the word to encourage ourselves, to build our faith up, to hear what God says about you, that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. The race is not for the swift. The battle is not for the strong, but it is to those who endure to the end. Those affirmations and coming out wiser, stronger, yeah, and in the end, you know, it's the Ten of Cups. It's the happiness. It's the stability. Your hope is restored with the, with the rainbow there. It's like you thought it would never happen. And now look, here it is. Here it is. At last. At last, here it is. All the things that you dreamt about that seem so far-fetched, that seem so out of sight, and now everything is within reach. Because even through with, with everything going on, you kept your head down and you keep working on your stuff. It's like in the lab, doing your research, keep growing, mastering your craft. Because the thing is, you're doing what you love. You're passionate about it. And like the saying goes, when you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah, it's of swords. This is the truth. This is the truth. You know, every scarcity, ta scarcity tactics or mindset that is broken. It's no, it does not exist anymore with these four of coins here. You're you're free. You're free. And it's like when you, when you reach that finish line and you run through that tape, you broke it. It's like all barriers are broken. Chains are broken from over your life. This is why you're free now. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. All restrictions, all limitations, it's broken. It's like you did the thing. You did it. You did it. Wow. Well done, good and faithful servant. Well, king of blades. We have king and queen of swords here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just now you know the truth. You can see everything clearly now. You're a professional in whatever you're doing. Whatever it is that you were working on, that you were having a lot of setbacks and delays because you kept going at it. Like the blades sharpening, you keep working on it, working on it. It sharpens it. It's like you perfect your craft. King of Cups, you perfect it. You're emotionally balanced, you're stable, you're happy. You're not bitter, you're better because of it. You've been through a lot, but you don't allow that to seep inside of you. And this is, and you know, all because of all the things that you had to walk away from, the Eight of Cups. You invested in a lot of things, a lot of people, and you had to leave it all behind. It's like, yes, they need to be done. The dishes need to be done. The sink is full and running over. But it's like, that is not all these burdens that people place on you are you create things that were becoming burdensome to you. You just, it's like enough is enough. It's walking away from what no longer serves you anymore. It's not doing anything for you. Because all it's been doing is leaving you wounded with the nine of ones here. And some of these same people who you are helping out, they're, they're, they're laughing at you, making fun of you. You're limping, you're damaged. You know, these are the things that were happening to you in the past. And it's like you learned your lesson with justice here, karma. You learned your lesson and with the four of blades, you put it to rest. You put it to rest. And now you're on your journey to your new beginnings, to your happiness, to the things that set you free. I love that for you.
Wow, see, transform. So for a lot of you, yeah, it's like change. All things in life change. And you're able to adapt willingly and easily. So this change you, that's, that's like what I was saying before. You are changing the process as well. By you going through these setbacks and these delays, you mature. You are not the same person. You came out brighter, better, stronger. More, you're, you're fearless now. You're not to be played with now. You know who you are. You know whose you are. You know your purpose and what it is that you're here for. You have been through enough to know that you are enough. You didn't just talk about it, but you be about it. Yeah, so you're, you're transformed. You're changed. You're not the same with all of this. And this is why God is, is rewarding you. Because a lot of you, you paid attention. Because it says what, you're, what, what you focus on, your attention on, it's pretty much what you will become. So you want it to be free. And whatever it takes, like I said, you were working on yourself. Whatever the area, areas that you need to be free in, you need deliverance in, that is what you went within to do some soul searching about. So if you wanted to be free physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, you went within. And with that, this is why you were able to win this race. This is why you were able to be victorious. Yeah, and a lot of you, you are so thankful. Gratitude. You are so appreciative to God that you, you, you kept in spite of everything. It's like you were thankful for the many things in life that bring you joy and comfort. You didn't have everything, but yet still you were gracious for the things that you have. No matter how small those things were, you were very appreciative. You were thankful. Yeah. Mm, I love that. I love it. Yeah. And it's like with the with the eight of swords, it's like now you can relax. All worries and anxieties are leaving your mind, making space for calmness and peace. The angels want you to know that feeling at peace internally can boost overall contentment and feelings of happiness regardless of the challenges you face a relaxed and calm outlook can help you navigate life's often turbulent waters more smoothly so it's like you know she's here very frustrated you're here very frustrated or wherever you were guys you were frustrated in whatever situation you were in it's like Everything was closing in. It's like there is no way out with the Eight of Swords. You were trapped. And again, you learned a lot. You transform. You learned that in order to escape or to get out of this, you have to relax. You have to relax. Let go and let God go with the flow. Or else the situations that were coming against you it wanted you to be so stuck mentally. That is like if you didn't take a time out, if you didn't go within to hear, to learn how you can deal with your, your cross, your burdens, you could have lost your mind. It could have left you broken. Yeah. Wow, leaving, leaving. I am happy to be free of the problems of the past and welcome new experience. Absolutely. You went within. And we saw the Eight of Cups earlier, leaving what no longer serves you in the past. Spirit says, let the angels guide you to a new beginning. Yeah, by you going within, 
you learn that you should cast all your cares upon God because he cares for you. Leaving behind what no longer serves you. It's like all those things, some of them, we take up people's problems on ourselves. And you realize when you let those go, you are free, free to move on. You're lighter, you're lighter. Wow, yeah, joy, 10 of cups. This is so good, joy. When I feel happy, I manifest more reasons to be happy. Yeah, it's the 10 of cups. This is, this is, this is the happiness. This is the peace, the joy. This is the life that you desire. The life that you prayed for, that you've been manifested. It's peace that passes all understanding. So going through this, this was a test. All of this mess was just to test you. It was training grown for you to see if you were going to remain faithful, remain unshakable, unbreakable, immovable. Your willpower, you learn where your strength comes from. You get to know who you are, a better understanding of yourself. Having faith even in yourself, trusting yourself, trusting your intuition. Wow. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. And Spirit is saying, slow down. It's taking the time to simply be. We saw the Four of Swords. It's like now you can rest. Now you can rest. It's like balance is now restored in your life. Order is restored into your life. I love that. You deserve it. You deserve it. And for a lot of you, it's that familiar people who are reckless with you. And sometimes people come into our lives or we were born in the lineage they're a part of. Your, your family, blood related, and they mistreated you. They didn't believe in what you were working on. They didn't believe that you could be that one. And so they were reckless with you. They did the most. And that is what helped to push you into this transformation. And now they're gonna have to watch you eat. Your change. You went through the dark night of the soul. Yes, you went through the valley of the shadow of death. And you fear no evil. You came out on the other side. People didn't believe in you. But you had support from God. And this is why you made it out. This is how you made it out. God turned it around for you. God turned it around for you. For some of you, people are going to want to come back to apologize because they see that their plans did not work. They see that you were persistent. You believed in yourself even when they did not believe in you. Some of these are the same people who did the most to you. When it came to your coins, they worked against you. I recently put a video out, heavy spell work was done against your business. People wanted you to fail, wanted us to fail. And now because they realize that their plans did not work, if you can't beat them, they want to now join you. And so now they want to come back with a pathetic apology. I mean, they're only sorry that they got caught because they're exposed. And the, the coins talk about families, close people you hold to you. They thought you were flying, you were getting away too far. And they wanted to restrict you, to limit you. And now you're telling them it's too late to apologize. It's like these people, they allowed you, which is good for you, 
to now know who you are, know what you desire, know what you deserve. You deserve people who are true to you, who are going to stick with you, who are not flaky. People who are in there with you through the hard times, not only the good times. Because a lot of these people, they walked away from you when you needed them the most. They were reckless with you. They were reckless with you. And now, guess what? Your victory exposed them. Your victory exposed them because for a while with the Eight of Swords, this is over the Eight of Swords, you were stuck mentally. You were trapped. You had a lot of burdens, a lot of demands on you. Your back was against the wall and nobody was there to help you. Even though you invested, we saw the Eight of Cups, you invested in a lot of people, places, and things. And when it came to you, nobody was there to invest into you. Now, because you persist, you did not give up in spite of, despite of the challenges. Now your victory, we saw the Six of Wands, that's victory. Your victory now exposed them. Because now people see that all this time, the people were even watching you to see how you would handle the challenges and the, the burdens you have. And people witness, people look, community card, people witness it. How in your community, online, call, church, whatever, whatever they, they, whatever you were going through, People saw how you pushed through by yourself. You alone and God, your spirit team and your ancestors and your guides. People saw that. So nobody can take credit to anything or for anything that you have. Confirmation. And, and that's a blessing in disguise because God wanted to show you that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You, not you and them, you. And nobody can take claim or lay their hands on anything that you come into, anything that you have, materialistically or spiritually. You don't have to give a shout out to anybody. But if, if, it's a, if it's an award you're going to get, you don't have to make a list. All you have to, I would like to thank God. I would like to thank Jah. I would like to thank Jehovah. I would like to thank the Mosai. You know, whether the man upstairs or whatever, it's the same thing. Because, but God, you would never do it. So people were able to see that you did it in the flesh by yourself no support and see this is it your ancestors they don't play about you and this is what a lot of people are coming to realize because whatever spiritual warfare that were wage against you see this is why sometimes people will go around and tell people that you are involved in iniquity why because when they send out all these attacks and nothing happens to you. They are confused. So it's like you must be doing something too. But the thing is you are protected. You are protected. Your ancestors don't play about you. Because you're a generational curse breaker. And they are relying on you. They are cheering for you. So whatever alleys that you have to walk through are down. Whatever traps the enemy set. They are helping you, guiding you to navigate these paths. So they don't play about you because they know that you deserve this because you did the work. You don't feel like you're entitled to it. It's like you serve your time and now it's time to come home. It's time to take a shower, sleep in a, a nice clean bed, eat some good food. It's time. It's time. This is your time to have joy, to have peace, to have happiness in your life. Because you have, you've been through a lot. See, at the back here, they cannot walk a mile in your shoes. I mean, they can't, they, I mean, they can't, if you have stairs, they can't go in it. I mean, 
couple steps, they can't, they wouldn't. But a lot of people are going to think you don't deserve whatever you're coming into. And even when they know that they cause these problems, even when they know they witness it with their own eyes, their conscience, they won't have the conscience to give you the credit for it. Deep down though, they know. And as a matter of fact, at this point, who cares? You know and God knows and that is all that matters. This is beautiful. I love it for you. I love it for us. Get ready to receive. There was this post that I put out um, recently, you know, regarding every successful person, they go through pain. So you could go back and read it and it's like, you know, just embrace your pain. And get ready to receive because you have gone through it now it's time for you to receive all right so i love it until next time please remember to like share and subscribe take care